Yeah. Hello, Ooh. internet pedal people. Uh, we are the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show, and we're back. We sure are. I'm Paul. Hey, I'm Alex. Uh, um, today, today we've got uh, a new pedal by Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Uh, one of my probably becoming favorite pedals because <laughs> it just does so much crazy stuff. Um, it's meant to be a chorus, but it does a whole lot more. Yeah. But first, quickly. Um, Jazzmaster with um, um, Duncan Antiquity one pickups. Ooh, and I'm using a, a green cable by the good folks at Goodwood Audio. If you want some great cables. Um, Feels cool. Like, um, it like sounds fantastic. I, I've been using them for a while with my acoustic rig and they sound really, really good. All my cables, all my, my, um, my patch cables and all my cables are Goodwood Audio. Um, sound fantastic, good quality, made in Australia. Um, so check out goodwoodaudio.com. Um, yeah, and you, sorry. Oh, Stop good. talking. <laughs> this is a uh, Tompkins Custom uh, by Alan, Alan Tompkins. It's a very nice T style guitar and um, Australian timbers. Very pretty. Beautiful. Lovely. And as always, we're going into a Serotone OTS Mini 20, which is a Dumble kind of vibe kind of thing, yeah. into a Isocap with a Celestian Greenback. Um, yes. Yeah, so. So. The blue one. The reflector. So it's meant to be a chorus, and one of the many functions is a chorus function. And there's lots of functions, so we're going to have to be quick um, running through it all. But basically, you have uh, you have four knobs. You have a, a rate, a depth, a, a wet dry mix, and a modulation, or is it modulate? It's called modulate knob, which depending on this little flicky switchy in the middle, with has, which has three settings: uh, wrinkle. Um, Myriad, myriad and mirrors. <laughs> um, so depending on what setting you're on on this, uh, the modulate knob changes completely. Right. Um, so to start it off with, um, first off now we have it set to the myriad setting, which is basically the most straightforward chorus setting. That's, yeah. cool. um, where you pretty much have uh, your wet and dry mix, your rate and depth, uh, and the modulate knob is basically set into split into four different sections where you have four different depth of chorus. So if you give us a bit of a play. And if you listen carefully, you can hear a little click when it goes from one to the yeah. other. Yeah, there's four stages of... Four stages of... of uh, which I think goes from a... Uh, um, uh, uh, less deep or shallower to a deeper chorus, yeah. if that more makes exaggerated. sense. More exaggerated. More exaggerated. So it, cool. I'll, I'll just go through it. So it just sort of yeah, gets gets more um, saturated as you turn it up. Um, like with all their pedals, you have a 100% dry to 100% wet mix. Mm -hmm. Now, what that also does with this, so we've got chorus, that's number one. That's what it's meant to be. It's the reflector chorus. Um, but it actually has, if you turn the depth up and if you turn the uh, mix all the way to wet uh, and you turn right and depth up, it turns into a bit of a Leslie kind of. Sure, yeah. Lovely. And you can blend a little bit of dry in just to make it make sense. Like make a guitar. <laughs> So that's, that's basically the most straightforward, the center position on the switch, the myriad setting. Now, next up, we have the wrinkle setting. Now, wrinkle is more along the lines of a pitch vibrato, um, sort of roughly there. Um, okay, so pitch vibrato. <laughs> Hang on, 
we should show, actually what, what we should also do we should show first because it was a bit out of tune this thing this knob here the modulate knob turns into a pitch control it does yeah um, it wasn't, it's not quite at 12 o'clock where it's at unison so if you play something there okay so hang on let's just quickly do the pitch vibrato again <laughs> That sounds more like pitch vibrato. Yeah. Yeah, so. But okay, so that's that's function number three, pitch vibrato. And it's quite a nice pitch vibrato actually. So reminiscent of the old boss, uh, which is quite sought after that. Is it VB2? Boss VB2 pitch vibrato? Yep. So yeah. quite reminiscent of that. Um, but now you can turn the actual vibrato bit all the way off. And now this knobby, like I already said, is a um, uh, pitch control. So if you go all the way to just dry signal, what you can actually do is... <laughs> So you go from, <laughs> you can go an octave down to an octave up, yep. and it basically basically just drops the whole pitch. So with it all on in all uh, just one hundred percent wet signal, um, it's just a pitch shifter basically. But now you can drop in some clean signal, dry signal, and you've got a harmonizer, quite yep. a nice harmonizer where you can go again up an octave. And anywhere in between. Yeah, this is where it becomes cool, yeah. So you can find whatever pitch you want. So it's it's just a seamless bend between mm -hmm. between uh, octave up to an octave down. Um, so that's and now what you can now do if you add the pitch vibrato to it, you can actually drop the pitch of the pitch vibrato. So it's a pitch vibrato pitch shifter. Lots of pitches there. <laughs> pitch, pitch, pitch. Um, pitch 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 pitch. So you can have the 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 your dry signal, but then the pitch vibrato is dropped to wherever you want it to be, and it vibrates there. If that makes sense. So let's play some. Can play one note. <laughs> it's awesome. I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. This is the one of the best pedals ever. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So you have a you have a, a, a pitch vibrato and a a harmonizer and a pitch bender and then a pitch bending pitch vibrato. So that's the wrinkle setting. Now, if we're going to the mirror <laughs> setting, the last one, all the way down. Basically, it's a really, uh, it's again a pitch vibrato more than anything else. Mm. Uh, but it's a bit more, um, a bit more in your face. Well, the, the filter, that's oh. the secret knob. Oh. That's the secret sauce coming later on. I didn't mean to <laughs> let the cat out of the bag there. So uh, it's basically like a, like a pitch vibrato again, but it's more... You can, all the controls go further. So you have more speed, you have more depth, basically. So. So it's quite a nice pitch vibrato again, yeah, it sounds like um, it. Um, and you can dry, put in some dry signals. It's actually but like relatively normal. It thing. is well, <laughs> yes, but now you have this knob, oh, which that. now has become a filter sweep, cool. um, which works together with the rate as well. So um, you can just do this. select a, a certain part of the filter and just kind of notch it, or you can... Um... Right, 
give some speed to give some speed to the yeah. so you can it becomes like an auto filter auto, thingy yeah that, that. <laughs> auto LFO ish kind of thingy kind of. Yep. Um, to a more subtle one. Now, if you get rid of all your dry signal again, you can actually almost turn into like an like a like an auto wah type thing, like an auto filter sweep, mm. like a funky stuff. <laughs> so it's kind of like a a, a um, filter sweep slash flangery kind of thing, but then you can <laughs> add the pitch vibrator onto it too. And they both kind of work not quite together. <laughs> it's sort of out of sync, which is another really awesome thing, I think. So you can add that to it. And that's it. So we've got a <laughs> simple. A simple. We've got a chorus, uh, Leslie uh, harmonizer, pitch bender, pitch vibrato, flangery, kind of, sort of, filtery yes. kind of, sort of thing. Yeah, it does can do flange. That that's it. That's everything. That's <laughs> it. That's it. So that's the reflector. Quite an quite an impressive pedal. And I, I, I honestly have to say one of my absolute favorite new pedals. This thing is insane. You can sit there for hours just mucking around with different sounds. Mm. It's going straight onto my pedal board um, and it'll stay there. Because <laughs> <laughs> that thing is awesome. It's very cool. Um, so much going on. Tons of things. So, uh, if you want to check out more on it, check out Old Blood Noise Endeavors. They've got great clips on YouTube. Um, great website too. Go and check them out. Uh, also, make sure while you're on YouTube, which is where you are now because you're watching us, make sure to click subscribe to our channel and tell yeah. all your friends and all your families to click subscribe to our channel. Um, and also head to Facebook, there, there'll be a link below us in the comments um, or the description or whatever you call it uh, to, our, um, to our Facebook page, the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. If you want us to review any particular pedals, let us know. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Sounds good to me. Awesome. I've done lots of talking and not much playing, but it's all good. So <laughs> I, need, thank <laughs> I need to lie down after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need one too. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye.